Hi, my name is Wayne Clark, and I'm on the staff of the Casco Bay branch of the YMCA of Southern Maine. Today I'm here at the Cumberland Town Forest, and I'm going to share a story with you. And here we are at the entrance to the town forest. This is the entrance to the story walk that we're going to be taking, and it's just going to be right over this way. And we're going to walk to the first kiosk and we'll spend a minute just reading that it says, welcome to the storybook forest what I really wanted to share with you here was the story walk is an adaptation of uh, from story walk project created by Ann Ferguson of Montpelier Vermont and developed in collaboration with the Kellogg Hubbard library it's a pretty cool thing and the story that I'm going to read to you today is called Little Beaver and the Echo. Little Beaver and the Echo, written by Amy McDonald and illustrated by Sarah Fox Davies. Little Beaver lived all alone by the edge of a big pond. He didn't have any brothers, he didn't have any sisters. Worst of all, he didn't have any friends. One day, sitting by the side of the pond, he began to cry. He cried out loud. Then he cried louder. Suddenly, he heard something very strange. On the other side of the pond, someone else was crying too. Little Beaver stopped crying and listened. The other crying stopped. Little Beaver was alone again. Boo hoo, he said. Boo hoo, said the voice from, the, uh, from across the pond. Ha ha wa, said Little Beaver. Ha ha wa, said the voice from across the pond. Little Beaver stopped crying. Hello, he called. Hello, said the voice from across the pond. Why are you crying? asked Little Beaver. Why are you crying? asked the voice from across the pond. Little Beaver thought for a moment. I'm lonely, he said. I need a friend. I'm lonely, said the voice from across the pond. I need a friend. Little Beaver couldn't believe it. On the other side of the pond lived somebody else who was sad and needed a friend. He got right into his boat and set off to find him. It was a big pond. He paddled and paddled. Then he saw a young duck swimming in circles all by himself. I'm looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the duck. But it wasn't to me who was crying. I'll be your friend, said Little Beaver. Come with me. So the duck jumped into the boat. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw a young otter sliding up and down the bank all by himself. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the otter, but it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friends, said Little Beaver and the duck. Come with us. So the otter jumped in the boat. They paddled and paddled. Then they saw a young turtle sunning himself all alone on a rock. We're looking for someone who needs a friend, said Little Beaver. Was it you who was crying? I do need a friend, said the turtle, but it wasn't me who was crying. We'll be your friends, said Little Beaver and the duck and the otter. Come with us. So the turtle jumped into the boat, and they paddled and paddled until they came to the end of the pond. Here lived a wise old beaver in a mud house all alone. 
Little Beaver told him how they had paddled all around the pond to find out who was crying. It wasn't the duck, he said, it wasn't the otter, and it wasn't the turtle. Who was it? It was the echo, said the wise old beaver. Where does he live? asked Little Beaver. On the other side of the pond, said the wise old beaver. No matter where you are, the echo is always across the pond from you. Why is he crying? said Little Beaver. When you're sad, the echo is sad, said the wise old beaver. When you are happy, the echo is happy too. But how can I find him and be his friend? asked Little Beaver. He doesn't have any friends and neither do I. Except for me, said the duck, and me, said the otter, and me, said the turtle. Little Beaver looked surprised. Yes, he said, I have lots of friends now. And he was so happy that he said it again, very loudly. I have lots of friends now. From across the pond, a voice answered him, I have lots of friends now. You see, said the wise old beaver, when you're happy, the echo is happy. When you have friends, he has friends too. Hooray, shouted little beaver and the duck and the otter and the turtle all together. And the echo shouted back to them, Hooray! And that's the story of Little Beaver and the Echo. Are you happy today? Do you have lots of friends? I hope so. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.